Hey everyone, it's Alexis with Create Your Future and thank you so much you guys for joining me for today's video. Today's video is a little bit different than my other videos. I'm currently on maternity leave um, and getting to know my little baby at the time that this is um, coming out and being shown to everybody. So I picked the following video if you're trying to manifest something from your specific person such as hearing sweet nothings, getting a one for three or being um, told that you're his or her babe or something like that. This is a, a success story of mine that was um, months ago from a client of mine that had so many issues with her SP and then almost out of thin air, she manifested him calling her babe and it was exactly the intention that we created for her. So please watch the rest of the video and I'll give you tips on that. Um, while I'm on maternity leave, I just have a couple of announcements. I have some really exciting new courses that are available. One is a course on how to put, called How to Put a Love Spell on Your SP. The second is a remote seduction course. And the third is a remote influencing course. So all three of them are very, very useful um, in terms of manifesting your specific person. And you can look forward to success stories about clients of mine that use these different hypnotic techniques in order to manifest change with their SP in other videos and upcoming videos over the time that I'm currently on my leave. Um, but please look on our website for information. They have great descriptions. I don't want to make too long of an intro and go into descriptions of each, but they're brand new courses that are available while I'm on a little bit of a break. And then just a reminder too, that I have my How to Manifest Your Happy Ever After, which is How to Manifest Marriage course. It gives you all the tips and tricks about how to marriage uh, manifest marriage with your SP, which can really be applied to anything, but it's very specific on how I manifested my marriage, tips that I think are really useful and what I've seen work and not work with people and how to really create that marriage of your dreams because who doesn't want that? All right, you guys. So all the information for that is in the description box below. I can't wait to read all your comments when I come back from my leave. Please um, make something awesome today. Go out there, enjoy your life and also use all this information to your advantage and create what you want, right? Don't forget, we have a contest still going on. So please comment on our videos about how Law of Assumption has helped you change your life and you might win a free coaching session. All right, you guys, I'll see you in my next video. Have an awesome day, bye. Hello everyone, it's Alexis with Create Your Future and I'm back today with another video, you guys, another success story and some really fun tips today about how to interact with your SP as you go through your blocks while you're manifesting for them and then also going a little bit deeper in a video into perception, projection and how everyone as you pushed out works from the perspective of integrative psychology. Before I get started, thank you for liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing. Please hit the bell icon in the box below and you get notified every time we post new videos and also you guys, we're we're currently doing a hundred thousand sub giveaway. So every time that you post a comment on one of our videos about how law of attraction or law of assumption has changed your life, then you get put into a pool of people and we're giving away three free coaching sessions to one special person once we get to a hundred thousand subs. All right. Now that being said, this client, super exciting because what we really use for her to manifest a change within herself, which was then reverberated back to her and her specific person was perception is projection. So just going into a little bit of a psychological idea um, and from an NLP perspective, which is neuro-linguistic programming about what everyone as you pushed out really is. As I say this, I'm going to make sure I plug in my computer because it's better for the video. Excuse me. Um, so getting back to what I was saying, that everyone as you push out from an integrative psychology perspective is that whatever you're holding in your awareness, whatever you're holding in your consciousness, literally, you guys, think of it really simple. Whatever you're focusing on, whatever you're aware of, whatever you're pondering, whatever you're meandering over in your mind, whatever you're having lots and lots of thoughts about, and whatever you decide about people, places, and things within yourself and within your own mind is then what you project out and it's what you push out into your reality. So like we said in so many videos, and like I've said over and over again, we have the quantum perspective and we know that you're the only thinker you're the only awareness, you're the only point of consciousness in your reality that literally everything comes from you and you influence everyone and everything because you don't know Susie, Jim, Jack, and Jill from their point of awareness who they actually are, if you go a little bit deeper. Like, you don't really know if the people in your reality are even really who they are 
and their reality from their point of view. All right. So that can get a little bit out there. It doesn't really matter for the point of the video, but perception is projection. Just to go back to that principle is that whatever you hold on to, whatever you're aware of, whatever you are focusing on, wherever your point of awareness, wherever your point of focus is, is what you push out. Okay. So this client, um, she was also a previous success story and make him manifest him to make you be his babe in 24 hours or be his babe in 48 hours. She was a previous success story. So I'm also doing this success story today because she's in the middle of manifesting her SP and this will help everybody who's in that process. I know that I have a lot of clients and we have a lot of subscribers who are manifesting for a change in an SP. And then this gives you more information about people that are doing that, knowing that it's not like an overnight success. Okay. So months ago they were in no contact. So they've gone from no contact and really like minimal contact and him not coming towards her, him just being kind of like, you know, not the best guy to, then he was calling her babe, like I said in the previous success story. And now they're having these epic phone conversations. It's so cute, it's like high school. Like they're on the phone for six hours and four hours. And I even asked her like, what do you talk on the phone for, for that long? And she couldn't even remember, it's so cute. So when you watch this client, know that, you know, I'm thinking about you with a wink. Okay, so to go back to the success and what happened here is that, what and what i see happen with a lot of clients and you want to be aware of this when you're manifesting consciously for a change in someone else is that it brings out all of your blocks and all of your limiting beliefs about yourself for those of you who notice my nails today they're blue okay so we want to be aware of that when you're thinking thoughts of living in the end or you're thinking intentions and thoughts on purpose about a specific person then what it does is it purges out all your limiting beliefs about Let's say it's relationships. Let's say it's a love partner, because for most of my clients it is. You're purging out your limiting beliefs in your unconscious mind about love relationships, yourself and what's possible, um, what you think about the opposite sex or, or your gender, like depending on who, you know, obviously like your sexual preference, but what you think, like what you believe to be true about that person and about all the aspects of that person okay so it's a pretty big deal but you want to be aware that the more in your mental diet and the more that you affirm for the reality and you from your point of awareness for the reality that you want to jump your point of awareness that you want to jump your consciousness into then what happens is all your limiting beliefs come out just like this client so she was having an issue with her sp where everything she said she second guessed and i noticed this a lot with a lot of people is that she would second guess and she would question her natural personality she would second guess and she would question like like um where she's at what's going on with her essentially not being good enough and feeling like she has to change something in order to manifest him perfectly right well i get that from the human perspective right it makes sense we've all been trained and taught that you know you weigh less you do this you this you do all these things and then the guy or the girl then chooses you like for men stereotypically it's like if you have bigger muscles then she's gonna like me for women it's like you have you know, you're, you're, you're more slender or now you have a big butt and then he's going to choose me, right? Well, that's from our human perspective, remember, and from our emotional thought point of view and our point of consciousness, it really doesn't friggin' matter because the more that you believe that you're okay and that everything's good with you and that everyone accepts your reactions and accepts you for who you are, then magically everyone else does too. But the more that you question yourself, the more that you doubt yourself, the more that you take an action and then regret it or take an action and then question someone's perception of it then then literally that's what they end up doing so what happened with this client is that she would come she was coming up against this whole thing over and over again and then i said to her an example from my own life i said okay listen i'm gonna give you an example and she wrote her success story in that she's practicing this and seeing change with her sp and that she's doing what i did with my neighbor in my parking spot so i thought that i would share it with everyone and i have some props so um, I live in an apartment and I have a parking space that's mine and most of my neighbors know the parking space is mine and that when I come home like I'm usually you know doing errands running around having a good time and that I just you know obviously want to park in my parking space and that if you're parked in my parking space I might not have the nicest reaction because I've asked everyone to not park in my parking space okay so <laughs> so I came home uh, two weeks ago or it must have been last week actually and somebody was parked in my parking space and I didn't have enough time to you know um, wait, wait around, go upstairs, whatever. So I, you know, I, I pulled up, rolled the window down. And this gentleman that I've only met a couple of times, he's a friend of one of my neighbors. I said, hey, you're in my parking space. I got to park. Can you move your car? Okay. I would say I was in the middle of doing a bunch of things. And like, maybe I wasn't in the most patient version of myself. I will admit that. Okay. 
and he got really frantic and said, okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm gonna move my car. Um, you know, I'm sorry, I'm just, and he started to give me this litany of reasons and examples of why he, he was in my parking space. And I just said, listen, I don't have time for that today. So can you just please move your car, right? I think everyone knows now from all my videos that I'm pretty direct, like, and I'm not necessarily direct in my personal life, but when I need to have something done and it really should have been done already, then, you know, I just figure like, get to the point, why did this manifest? Got to get on to the next thing, okay? So anyways, um, I didn't really have enough time to really think about this thoroughly, but he obviously moved out of my parking space. I moved in, I parked my car, and I came upstairs to my apartment. Now, once I put my bags down and I settled down, I thought, oh, shoot, was I a totally a B-I-T-C-H? Oh, no, I didn't mean to be a B-I-T-C-H. Um, you know, we don't use four-letter words on the channel, but, like, I didn't mean to be mean, right? I was just kind of, like, going from thing to thing, and I thought, oh, and I thought, oh, that's interesting. I'm questioning my reaction, where it was a natural reaction, and now I'm second-guessing myself, and I'm thinking that I did something wrong. Old programming is what I think, where it's my parking space. Like, if I want to park in my parking space, I want to have the parking space available, right? Now, as I'm saying this, like, I should do some more intentions that the parking space is always free, but this is a really good example for everybody. So in between clients, I sat here and I thought, dang it. Well, you know what? My reaction was perfect. He's going to realize my reaction was perfect. And he's going to apologize to me because he realizes that he was wrong. Okay. And I thought, well, it's kind of far out there. I thought, I don't even really believe that myself, but I just thought the thoughts on purpose. Just like in my last video, I thought thoughts on purpose about my previous nail color. We all know what happened. If you watched that video, if you didn't watch the video, watch the video because it ties into this. So again, I didn't believe the thoughts I thought. I didn't believe the intentions about him. He is a specific person in my reality, though like I never even see you guys, okay? So I thought the thoughts I thought, to be clear, were, oh, he's going to realize like that, I, that, that he did it wrong. He's going to apologize to me. And um, um, he realizes he made a mistake and my reaction was perfect and he respects me. It was something like that, okay? So it must have been 48 hours went by and I was doing laundry in my garage. And just like usual, my neighbors walk by and they come in and talk to me. They make small talk and I'm, you know, listening to everybody and whatever. It's a regular like Wednesday or something. All of a sudden he shows up and I never see this guy. So funny to have it manifest. He shows up and he walks into my garage a little bit afraid. <laughs> like he was trying to stay away from me. Like, you know, when someone's trying to like keep their space, but like see if they should come in, you know, and I was doing my laundry and I said, oh, oh, hi. Hi, hi, how's it going? And he kind of inched towards me and he said, you know, I just wanted to apologize for parking in your parking space yesterday. And I have this for you. He had a lollipop and he handed me this lollipop. This man looks so remorseful. And I said, and of course me being me, and I obviously forgot about this whole thing. I was like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. How did you know that I love lollipops? That's my favorite flavor, okay? And he said, okay, well, I just want you to know that I'm really sorry I parked in your parking space. And I said, okay, you're forgiven, no big deal. All right, you guys? So what happened there? What happened is like what I told this client to do is that I had a reaction that was my normal reaction, might not have been the perfect person, perfect version of Alexis reaction, but instead of thinking thoughts that would have created a different reaction from that person, I thought thoughts on purpose that I was the one who was doing the right thing, that I was the one who had the right actions and that I was gonna be respected for it. Now don't take this too far and start thinking people are gonna respect you for things that like maybe morally they shouldn't, I wouldn't say that, but remember what's happening in our reality is that this is me, this is the specific person. I have a story, I have a thought. The specific person, doesn't matter who it is, gets it, they receive it and think it's theirs and they give you gifts, okay? I'm really into, and I do have a, a constant intention that I get free gifts. So, you know, it's not a surprise, even though it's a lollipop. But that's what I had this client do because like a lot of my clients, what she does is she takes an action She's just herself and then she she wants to rewind and she wants to regret it or or second guess who she really is. And I was like, no girl, don't do that. Just intend that he appreciates everything about you. He thinks you're the perfect person and it makes him, he thinks you're cuter. He thinks you're hotter because you stand up for yourself or you have a reaction and he just, it draws him closer to you. Remember you guys, going back to what I said before is that your perception, your decision in your own mind is what you push out. So this is a really good tool to use for those moments where you have like something bad happen. Like you say something, maybe you shouldn't to your SP or you have a big reaction or you get angry about something or you know, you, you, you get into a mode where you're questioning yourself, you're doubting yourself, okay? You just wanna think, what's my story? What's my perception right now of myself? If you start hearing your own thoughts of, oh, I shouldn't have done that. 
I wish I could take it back. I'm so regretful. You just want to say, no, 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 no. He or she believes that I am, that I'm a great person. They accept me unconditionally. They, they want to say sorry first, or they're remorseful, or they totally accept me. Something like that. You want to go kind of general, but use that as a tool, but really to allow for the limiting belief of yourself that's coming up when you're encountering this kind of situation that has you questioning and has you doubting and has you really second guessing your own character because none of us are perfect. And the point here isn't to manifest the version of your SP that only accepts you when you're perfect, right? The point of the mental diet isn't to stop being yourself. If anything, it's to get you to be more like yourself because now you have the tools of the mental diet, knowing that your thoughts create and that everyone is you pushed out in order that everyone is you pushed out. Like just don't push out that you're, that you're messing up or don't push out that people are mad at you or don't push out that everyone thinks that you did the wrong thing and that you're so regretful about it, you know? So I find it to be a really useful tool because remember going back to other ideas too, that the meaning and the decision that we have about people, places, and things is what plays out. Okay. So just like me and just like this client, you can use this too. What my client ended up doing is that she started using this with her SP and he was treating her differently. Like everything she said previously, she would second guess or think like, oh, you know, this, that, the other thing about what I said. And then now he's changing as she's changing, if that makes sense. So I think it's really fun. And you just want to come back to the idea that everyone is really you. So everyone's functioning upon what you decide in your own mind and what you think here because your thoughts are start here and they go out to everybody else, right? They go to two places. They go from your the front of your mind, your frontal lobe into your subconscious mind and they go out to your specific person, okay? So use this to your advantage. Like really think of like, what are the stories I'm holding and start practicing it and, and start doing this with maybe someone who isn't your romantic SP, maybe with like a family member or something like that, where you can see that the story that you're holding in your mind is what is projecting out into your quantum bubble, out into your quantum reality. All right. So I hope that you found this video useful. I think it's some really fun tips, really fun information about how to understand how everyone as you pushed out works and how to understand perception is projection at a deeper level. And to really think about questioning and asking yourself, what am I holding in my awareness? What am I putting my focus on? What are my thoughts right now focusing on? What is my consciousness focusing on? Because your awareness and your consciousness is the exact friggin' same thing. There's no difference here, right? But I also think that it's useful, and I want to start I'm saying this in other videos too, about how when you're on the mental diet, this is always what happens. Like you're manifesting for an SP, you're on the intentions about the specific person, and then you purge out all your limiting beliefs about, like I said, love relationships, the specific person, all the aspects of the person and then yourself, right? So it's not to say that it's like such a huge deal, but you just kind of want to be aware of that this is the process and that it's your higher self, your subconscious mind, your unconscious mind within that's always kind of pushing you like, hey, we want to change this. We want you, think of like your inner self being the we, you with your physical body, the inner self being your unseen spiritual self. We, as a whole being, want you to be able to be yourself with your SP so that this time you don't sabotage love and relationships so that you can be in a confident place, being yourself, being in the moment, you know, experiencing emotions, having a reaction and then going forwards. Because, you know, the point of all this, like I said, isn't so that we become passive aggressive and use the mental diet and use our thoughts or things to allow us to be a different person and not to be natural in the moment experiencing life. All right, you guys. So I hope this video has been useful because I think it's a fun one, you know, go out, manifest some fun things. See, and even, you know, even if this video is like, if you're a new manifester and you're, you're new to doing all this, manifest for a lollipop. Have that be your takeaway today because you always want to be watching the success stories and watching our videos with the intention that this is you and this can be you. So just a couple of ideas from my own personal life is that I'm always intending for free gifts and I'm usually, well... I think recently I did have the intention for a free candy because I have been getting a lot of candy from people, which is kind of funny, kind of interesting. Um, but I like to intend for sales on things. These are things of outside of anything that's, you know, large that I'm working on. Um, but for candy and for free gifts and to have like lots of, you know, green lights when I'm driving, I always get everywhere on time and safe and that, you know, just things are pretty, pretty happy, pretty hunky dory. All right, you guys, so that's my video for today. Hope that you found it useful. Please let me know in the comments what you think about this and, and let me know in the comments what you think about the idea of everyone as you pushed out as it relates to your decisions, what you're holding in your awareness, what you're holding in your consciousness, knowing that your thoughts are things and moral of the story always is that your thoughts create, right? All right, so make today an awesome day. Go out there, have some fun.
get out in the sun if you're in a sunny area. You know, now that we're coming out of the COVID. And when you have a moment, thank you again for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. Oh, and before I go, you guys, just another announcement is that now I have two courses available and that both of the links for those courses are in the description box below. One course is called How to Become a Master Manifester, and that's a foundational course on how to use intentions, how to create your own intentions with the ideas in the course of other intentions, and how to understand your own mind so that you can be the best conscious manifester that you can be. The other exciting course that I just came out with is Get Your SP Now, and that goes into detail about how to change your specific person all the way down to the personality, the, the relationship dynamic, you in the relationship, how you see yourself in the relationship and how the other person sees you, what they do for you and how they're showing up for you. So if you're manifesting for the ideal version change of your SP, this course is great for that. It also comes with a hypnosis at the end to lock in all the juicy information. So it's super fun. Um, and that course comes, both courses come with a workbook and then about an hour long video. They both have hypnotherapy or hypnosis at the end. All right. So you guys, I'm done, right? I, 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 I got to get going. This video is going on and on and on, but I'll see you guys in the next video, right? Have an awesome day. Bye.